what's up Cal gang? Here we're going to be solving this problem. So we got all these vectors, we got two vectors actually, and it just wants us to mess with them a little bit. So we're going to do that. All right, so we got A plus B. This is the hardest calculus problem we've ever solved ever. So A plus B is going to be negative 3, 4, plus 9, negative 1. So what you're going to do when you're adding vectors is you combine the i values, so the first one, with the j value, or just these two put together, and then you add these two together. So this is going to be equal to, so 3, negative, or excuse me, negative 3 plus 9 is equal to 6, 4 plus negative 1 is equal to 3. This is a plus b. Pretty simple, right? Now when we get to some complex stuff, 4a plus 2b, well, this distributes in, basically. You could say 4, like goes into this, so it's going to be 4 times negative 3, and then 4 times 4. So we can write this as 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. Uh, 4 times 4 is 16. That's going to be plus uh, 2 times b, so it'll be 18. And then 2 times negative 1, negative 2. All right, and then we do the same thing we did for the first one. So 12 plus 18, 6. And 6 minus 2 is 14. So this is our vector. All right, so now it says this is A in absolute value. But this tells us is this is the magnitude. So say we have this is A, this is B. It says what is the length? This is A plus B. But it says, or, no, 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 no. What am I doing? It says this is A. Boom, that's A. But it says what is the distance of A? So like A is like negative 3, 4, so you can imagine that kind of as like, this is what A actually looks like. It says, what's the distance of that? Well, we know our distance formula. It's going to be square root, right? Square root of the thing squared. So it's going to be square root of negative 3 squared plus 4 squared. This is going to be equal to 9, 16. It's going to be square root of 25. That's just equal to 5. All right? All right, now it says the magnitude of A minus B. So what we want to do is we want to find A minus B first, and then we can take the square root and do that. So A minus B. So it's going to be negative 3, 4, minus 9, and negative 1. So negative 3, 4. Okay, so negative 3 minus 9, negative 12, right? 4 minus negative 1 is 5. So if we take the square root of negative 12, squared plus 5 squared. It's going to give us 169, which is the square root of 13. Boom. And that's it. All right, so here are our values, our vectors. Good equation, guys. Good luck on your calculus homework. I believe in you guys.